Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a mono blue self mill deck built around the Magic Mirror. Normally a 9 mana legendary artifact, but it costs 1 generic mana less to cast for each instant and sorcery card in our graveyard. It also says we have no maximum hand size, and at the beginning of our upkeep we can put a knowledge counter on the magic mirror, and then draw a card for each knowledge counter on the magic mirror. So we can draw a ton of cards, the major drawback of the magic mirror, other than getting it in play, is that it will eventually draw all the cards from your library, and of course if you draw a card from an empty library you lose it game. Now we don't really mind drawing our entire library because our main win condition in the deck is Jay's Wielder of Mysteries which says if we would draw a card while our library has no cards in it we win the game instead, can also mill ourselves with the plus one and draw a card and the minus eight also lets us draw seven and if we have no cards left we win the game. So the goal of the deck is basically to try and get the magic mirror in play, get Jace in play and uh, draw all the cards in our deck or mill them and win the game that way. And to help us with the self mill plan we have the full four copies of Merfolk Secret Keeper. We can use Venture Deeper to put the top four cards of our library into our graveyard and afterwards we can still cast a one mana 0 4 which can help us protect our life total. We also have the full playset of Vantra's Gargoyle, 2 mana for a 5-4 flyer. It can't attack unless the defending player has 7 or more cards in their graveyard. So every now and then you can always use Merfolk Secret Keepers to mill the opponent if you need to attack with the Vantra's Gargoyle, maybe take out an opposing Planeswalker. Every now and then of course you can use Vantra's Gargoyle as an alternate win condition instead of Jace for the self mill and just win with damage. But we're mostly interested in Gargoyle as a blocker and as a way to put more cards in our graveyard. Vantra's Gargoyle can't block unless we have four or more cards in hand but with all the card draw that's usually not a problem and we can also tap gargoyle and then each player has to put their top card from their library into their graveyard so another way to help mill ourselves then we also have the full four copies of emery lurker of the lock to go with our small artifact sub theme Emery costs one generic mana less to cast for each artifact we control, and when Emery enters the battlefield we also put the top four cards of our library into our graveyard, so more self-milling, much like the Secret Keeper. And Emery can also tap and choose an artifact card in our graveyard and we can cast that card this turn. So it's a great way to find more copies of Vantra's Gargoyle, and we can even cast the Magic Mirror from our graveyard using Emery if we milled a bunch of copies and never drew one. And then we also have two more artifacts in the form of Witching Well, which when it enters the battlefield helps us scry two, and for four mana we can sacrifice it to draw two cards. Playing a turn one Witching Well also helps us cast a turn two Emery, thanks to the discount, and of course if we sacrifice Witching Well it ends up in our graveyard, where we can get it back with Emery once again, so great synergy between those. Besides the artifact sub-theme we also need lots of instants and sorceries to make the magic mirror cheaper, since we don't want to spend the full 9 mana. Of course the self-milling can help us put instants and sorceries in the graveyard, but we also need them in the first place, so that's where all the other cards in the deck come in. We've got a full play set of opt to scry one and draw a card, a nice cheap cantrip, then we also have lots of interaction in the form of bound spells, four copies of unsummon to return target creature to its owner's hand, and two copies of callous dismissal, which can return target a non-land permanent to its owner's hand, and a mass one to make a 1-1 one -one zombie token to help us chum block with. And then we also have the full four copies of contentious plan to proliferate and draw card, proliferate great with Jace, and also great with the magic mirror since we can put an extra knowledge counter on our mirror to then draw even more cards on following turns. So that's also great synergy. Do have to be careful to actually click on the magic mirror since it doesn't automatically highlight the magic mirror when proliferating, unlike other planeswalkers. So you do need to double check and uh, make sure you click on the magic mirror when proliferating. And the proliferate also works nicely with the zombie token from a mass. And if you're playing against a creatureless deck, you can always use these two bounce spells to bounce your own secret keepers or emeries to then uh, mill yourself even more. So even against creatureless decks, these bounce spells are still quite valuable. And then of course we're eventually planning to win the game with Jace. And then our mana base is very straightforward, 20 basic islands and the full four copies of Mystic Sanctuary. With all the self-milling, we've got plenty of card selection from the graveyard, and we can maybe get back a key bounce spell like Dismissal or Unsummon to find more interaction to make sure we can survive long enough to win the game with Jace and Magic Mirror. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with uh, a reasonable hand. 
will maybe need to draw some more lands, so I could decide to opt first just to hit my land drops. That might be more important than milling myself with Secret Keeper right away. Don't have a magic mirror, that cares about instants and sorceries in the graveyard. Opponent with a Temple of Mystery. And Mystic Sanctuary is like, okay if it's my fourth land. I guess I'll keep it. Alright, perfect. So now I get to play my Gargoyle. And next turn I can venture deeper and play Emery. Could be up against Simic Flash. In which case getting the Gargoyle in play early gives us a nice blocker. Right, it's gonna be a Paradise Root instead, so maybe just a uh, Simic food. And there's a magic mirror, so now we want to start milling ourselves as much as possible. Which we can thanks to Secret Keeper and Emery. Uh, ooh, two Jace is milled, so we do have to be a bit careful there, since we don't have a way to get Jace back from the graveyard. In case they can answer the Jace we currently have. And then end of turn I can activate Ventress Gargoyle. Currently can block since I only have three cards in hand. But we should be able to address that soon enough. Gilded Goose, more ramp. And the Goose can also chum block Gargoyle in case we need to attack a Planeswalker. So end of turn make sure to activate Gargoyle. And another Magic Mirror, not too useful right now. I'm just gonna play Jace, not get anything back with Sanctuary, I don't think. Just want to keep those instants and sorceries in the graveyard for now. Yeah, and summons a good pickup. And if I draw lands, I could play my mirror next turn. Although if my opponent has Oko, of course they can turn it into an elk. Any artifacts that I might want to get back with Emery? Not at the moment. And it's going to be Hydroid Crisis for four. That's fine. And finds a land. Right, end of turn, make sure to use our Gargoyle once again. Alright, lands lets us cast the Magic Mirror. So, probably still gonna keep milling myself with Jace, even though, again, there's a small risk. I mill the last Jace and they can kill the one in play. But then we can always win with Vantra's Gargoyle Beatdown if we really have to, so... Alright, so I could unsummon first and then still play Mirror. Because if I play Mirror now, Gargoyle can block Krasis. So I don't actually hate just unsummoning Krasis, even though it might seem a bit weird. Could also mill myself with Secret Keeper, but if we miss on Instants and Sorceries, then I can't cast my Mirror. Could also just use Emery to get back Gargoyle. Maybe that's the play instead, and wait a turn on the Magic Mirror. Now let's just play Unsummon and uh, get our mirror in play. And even if they do Oko it, I still have backup mirrors. Amory can get mirror back, so we should be okay. Opponent did use two food tokens last turn with the geese, so they don't have as much mana as they maybe would like. There's Oko. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. All right, Oko is going to alkify a goose. Fair enough. Oh dear. To pressure Jace. Currently Gargoyle can block, but that's gonna change soon. So don't feel the need to chum block with Emery since she's quite valuable getting back Gargoyle from the graveyard. So we'll just let Jace take three. No. 
end of turn mill with gargoyle. And on tap. Alright. Mystic Sanctuary could be useful. So... I could decide to get back a bounce spell, mill the opponent with Jace, so I draw the thing I put back on top. How many cards does my opponent have in Graveyard? Four. Could also... Maybe that's the play. Secret Keeper... My opponents get back a bound spell, mill my opponent with Jace, and then kill Oko. So yeah, let's do that. So Mystic Sanctuary gets back unsummon. Mill my opponent with Jace. So we draw the unsummon. Bounce the goose, which could otherwise chum block. Let's try this. So my opponent still has six cards in graveyard, so this couldn't attack. But uh, as soon as I uh, use my secret keeper, I will be able to. And then I can still get back a gargoyle from the graveyard as well. And get rid of this annoying Oko. In your and play a couple secret keepers as blockers to protect Jace. Alright. So we're doing okay here. Currently have 29 cards remaining in library. But that's about to change pretty quickly. Replace Gilded Goose. And a Hydroid Crisis for two. Alright, pick up some more Gargoyles and summon. So, let's start milling myself now with Jace. Do want to make sure I have enough cards in hand that my Gargoyle can potentially block, but that shouldn't be an issue here. Can Amory get anything back? Gargoyles, so that's nice. We'll have four gargoyles in play, which can also just start beating down. So yeah, let's uh, send these gargoyles in there. Still have two on defense. Can always decide to unsummon my secret keepers if I want to mill myself more. Can always play an extra Amory just to mill for four. But uh, this seems fine, just pass the turn. And we've got 20 power worth of flyers in play. Do have to watch out for a potential mass manipulation stealing my Jace at the last second. So finding something like Callous Dismissal as insurance could be useful. But I could also just kill them in the meantime with Gargoyles. Currently 23 cards remaining, about to draw 3 cards with Magic Mirror. Can always start milling the opponent with Jace if I feel uncomfortable milling myself more. And yeah, mass manipulation for one, stealing Jace. That's fine. And it's gonna mill me. I should have one Jace left in my deck if I'm not mistaken. So if I just stop milling myself, I'll eventually draw it. Contentious plan, can put a counter on Magic Mirror. Opponent seems pretty dead here, can just unsummon the goose and attack my opponent for 20. And yeah, there we go. So we beat Simic Food on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with, uh, I guess, a keep. A bit on the slow side. Hopefully we can find lots of uh, cheap instants and sorceries to put in the graveyard here. Secret Keeper helps. And then I guess I don't want land since I'm gonna mill myself. Just wanna hit instants and sorceries since we have a mirror in hand. 
Turn one, turn three, Dodger. Not what we want to see. So against Agrodex, we pretty much need to hit an early Vantress Gargoyle as a good blocker. So I guess we'll just mill ourselves. There's a Gargoyle. So if I now find Emery, I might be able to get it back. Play Secret Keeper for now. Not a defender, so they can attack past it if they decide to. Ooh, turn two Stomping Ground, says my opponent on Goblins. Turn two Zurta Goblin. Well. Let's see here. Can play the Witching well. Still probably looking for Vantress Gargoyle. The alternative would be to just uh, bounce my own Secret Keeper, mill myself again and replay it. But uh, I'll keep up on summon in case they have some way to pump the Zurta Goblin here. Legion Warboss instead. Probably want to just bounce that, so I'll go full control. So I can bounce it before they get the token. And they get to deal one damage. Mystic Sanctuary can get back and summon. It's probably fine. Even though it removes an instant from the graveyard temporarily. I just want as much interaction as I can get. And then I'm just gonna end of turn draw with Witching Well. Another Zurta Goblin. Fair enough. Maybe expecting a counter spell here and not playing the Warboss. Could also have a shock to finish off my Secret Keeper. But uh, I'm still okay with that exchange. And yep, yeah, there's a shock. And there's a Gargoyle. And a Jace. So we're hitting some relevant cards here. Now the downside of playing Gargoyle is that... Um, I can't really cast anything, otherwise the Gargoyle can block. But I guess it's still an okay compromise here, just to have something that can block profitably. And I can always cast you and summon if I really have to. Land for untapped, maybe a ringleader. Nope, just another war boss plus shock maybe. Probably still fine trading Gargoyle. Alright, it's gonna be a Torch Courier instead. That's also a nice one uh, to give Warboss and Cranko haste. Opponent gets their token. And do they attack? Yep, they send everyone. We'll eat the 3 3. And take 5 here. And then I can still unsummon end of turn, now that the Gargoyle has blocked. Could unsummon one of the attackers, could unsummon the Warboss. Think I'm okay unsummoning the Warboss, as it's the most expensive to replay. And then next turn I should be able to have four cards in hand, given the Witching Well and the Jace. So if I play Jace, I can draw a card and I'll be fine. But then I can't play my lands. Of course, we want to get this mirror in play as soon as possible. Or I can play land pass and then plan to sack the Witching Well. Getting Jace in play as a distraction isn't bad. And I'll mill myself. Hmm, it is tempting to play Emery here, because then next turn I'll be able to get back more Gargoyles. But it does mean Gargoyle won't be able to block this turn, also can't attack. Yeah, I might take a pretty big hit, but it might be worth it in the end. Also gets me closer to 
playing my magic mirror. And then um, end of turn I can activate Gargoyle still. But there's definitely a chance I can die here. There's Warboss once again. And uh, Goblin Bannerts. It's a lot of Goblins. And a Hasty Warboss. Yep. So they get to make another token, they get to Mentor. Let's see if they go after Jace, or if they go face. Looks like they're going face. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to recover from this. Basically taking seven. Down to three. Gonna need to draw lots and lots of uh, bounce spells here. Another Jace, not quite. Emery can get back a Gargoyle, but it's still only two blockers at uh, three life. Let's see what we can find. Let's try this. Yeah, that Gal's Dismissal I wanted to draw and summon is good too. So Emery gets back Gargoyle. But uh, pretty sure we're dead. So something pretty weird needs to happen for me not to die here. And a ringleader as the cherry on top. Finds Crater Maker and Groom Gully. Plays Crater Maker. And I guess now I'll unsummon the war boss. Alright, GG's, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and yeah, I guess we can keep this. A bit light on interaction, perhaps. But we've got a contentious plan to cantrip and hopefully turn 3 Emery, turn 4 Jace. We'll play the Sanctuary right away here. I could hold the Contentious plan, because we do have both Mirror and Jason in hand, but I also need to get more instants and sorceries in the graveyard in the first place to cast my Magic Mirror. Up against Blue-Black. I found a couple Witching Wells, which we can return from the Graveyard, potentially. Unless they kill Emery right away. But now Jace is maybe more likely to survive. Miller solves. Alright, so we're making a little bit of progress on the Magic Mirror. Are flooding out a little bit, so if Jace dies like it does here. Don't have a ton of action, but drawing another one helps. Alright, contentious plan, so... Can't quite cast a magic mirror unless we mill over another instant or sorcery with Jace next turn. A rankle... Hits Jace down to two. We'll start definitely by just uh, plussing Jace here, see what we can mill over. Alright, so... Can't cast a magic mirror this turn. But what I can do is dismissal Rankle and then Contentious Plan so Jace doesn't die to a, a single Rankle attack. And I also get a 2-2 Zombie for what it's worth. Alright, so I could play Sanctuary, but... I kind of want all these instants and sorceries in the graveyard for Mirror. And I don't exactly know what I would return. 
Yeah, let's just uh, play island and pass. So they replay Rankle. Alright, so now I get to play my Magic Mirror. First mill ourselves in case we get a discount. Could always decide to Mystic Sanctuary something back and then mill the opponent so we draw the card we put back. But uh, now nah, let's just keep milling ourselves. Unsummon's great. So I could unsummon Rankle, but I could also unsummon it when it attacks, so Jay sticks around. That seems better. So we'll play the mirror. Mystic Sanctuary... I could put Dismissal back or another Unsummon, that's maybe better. Just keep Unsummoning Rankle here. While drawing a million cards. And then I might as well attack for two. I will probably eventually need another Jace. Allegiant and sees my hands, but now they won't be able to replay Rankle. And I get to keep Jace around. And yeah, opponent concedes. Just have too much interaction for Rankle. Eventually we could also just draw a third or fourth Jace. Don't have to keep milling myself if I don't want to, to make sure I actually draw the Jace. And yeah, win the game from there. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Lots of cheap plays and the Magic Mirror in hand. Facing Blood Crypts. So I can either Witching Well or mill myself with the Secret Keeper. I'll Witching Well for now. Looking for Emery, Jace. There's Jace and a fourth land, so we'll keep both. Although I guess next turn I want to mill myself with the Secret Keeper. So maybe I should just keep Jace and bottom the Sanctuary in the hopes of putting some instants and sorceries in the graveyard with Secret Keeper instead. Alright, turn two Priest of Forgotten Gods, so it's Rakdos Sacrifice. Fair enough. So I can either play Secret Keeper or keep up Unsummon. If my opponent plays like a Chandra, they could activate Priest next turn. Which would be annoying. Nah, I think I'm okay playing Secret Keeper for now. They're not super likely to play two creatures given that they didn't play one drop. Nah, they do have Chandra though. So that can get rid of my Secret Keeper. Not a huge loss. Just uh, means we won't have a blocker in the future. So your opponent gets in one damage, and then they get to use Priest, and potentially cast something with the two mana. And a Witch's Oven could also be pretty effective. Alright, let's uh, opt digging for lands, I guess. Secret Keeper number two, not quite what I need at the moment. It is a way to potentially enable my Magic Mirror once again, so it is tempting, but I think hitting my land drops is more important. Emery, can't really play Emery while the Priest is around, so yeah, things aren't going great. Drawing two mirrors might miss my fourth land drop, and my opponent had a pretty good start. Mayhem Devil, sure. Wanna wait for my opponent to activate Chandra, and then I'm probably gonna just unsummon the priests. And they can sacrifice it to the oven if they want to, but I doubt they will. But yeah, Chandra plus Mayhem Devil is also a pretty painful combination. There's an argument for just bouncing the Devil there. Cauldron's familiar, so yeah, my opponent has all the synergies online. So I don't think we're winning this one. 
if I had to guess, do have land for for Jace, but Jace is not going to survive. There's even a chance I die next turn. I'm a 12. But maybe Jace can be a distraction. Yeah, I guess we'll use Jace to soak up a bit of damage, maybe. Contentious plan, extra spell for Magic Mirror. Still costs 6 mana though. End of turn Witch's Oven. They are going after Jace, so I guess that's a good thing. Pretty sure that if my opponent just went after my life total, I would have died here. Don't worry. I brought company. Devil goes after Jace. Just Two more damage from the Chandra Elementals dying. Land 5, so I can play Jace, hope to draw like an unsummon, I guess. Don't even know if that's enough to stay alive. But I don't see an alternative, so might as well. Emery, it's not gonna do it. Alright, good game's opponents. We'll let them do their thing. Cat in the oven. Devil deals one. Food sacrificed to bring the cat back. Devil deals one more. Drains me to three. And Angra's Rampage for good measure. Alright, GG's. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Hand seems decent. Turn one Witching Well into a turn two Emery is pretty sweet. Bit of interaction with Dismissal. Up against a Rugged Highlands. Wouldn't mind drawing a fourth land, so Mystic Sanctuary is perfect. And... I don't know if I need to keep Secret Keeper, I already have one in hand. At this point I guess I'm looking for like the Magic Mirror, more interaction. This Emery could easily die. Right, no stomp end of turn at least. And the Rhythm of the Wild, that's a scary card. I could bounce it with Dismissal, but now that I drew Unsummon, I could potentially bounce whatever they play at instant speed as well. I'll start by milling myself with Secret Keeper, in case I find an artifact I can play with Emery. I did not. I did find lots of instants and sorceries, so if I ever find a Magic Mirror, it's going to be pretty cheap to play. Yeah, I don't mind just bouncing this uh, Rhythm. And get in for one. Next turn I can either play Jace or Sack Witching Well. Sacking Witching Well may be a little bit better if I have 5 mana. Because then I could potentially replay it with Emery right away. Flame Sweep, a bit unexpected here. Kills my Emery, sadly. So do I want to get anything back with Sanctuary? I have two on sums in hand already. I don't think I do. So I'm just going to decline here, play Jace, and mill myself some more. Contentious plan can add a loyalty to my Planeswalker as well. There's Rhythm. Step one, mill myself. Magic Mirror in Graveyard, so now if I draw Emery, I can get access to it. 
Here I think I am either just gonna pass with and summon a witching well at the ready, or I could play secret keeper as well that can maybe block whatever my opponent plays with the rhythm. I think I'm quite likely to unsummon whatever my opponent plays. So let's just uh, pass with and summon a witching well at the ready. Grazer I'm not too afraid of. And my opponent is stuck on three. So let's sag the witching well. <laughs> Double Jace. And there's a mirror, just uh, three mana to play it, perfect. Another Sanctuary, so I could play Mirror. Now it doesn't have any knowledge counters on it yet, so I don't think I want to play Contentious Plan at the moment, so we'll just play Secret Keeper. Don't think I need to get anything back right away. And uh, keep up double on Summon while the Secret Keeper protects us from the Almighty or Boreal Grazer. Alright, Fires of Invention, so that's uh, where things start to get scary. They can play another 4-drop, Nullhide Ferox. Yeah, that one I can't uh, currently bounce with and summon. So I'm gonna have to chum block it. And then Jace is gonna take one. I could chump and then bounce my Secret Keeper, maybe that's fine. Yeah, sure. Jace takes one. And now casting Contentious Plan is a lot more appealing. Do I want to Mystic Sanctuary anything back? Maybe Cal's Dismissal? Don't hate that. So... Now I guess I could mill my opponents, so I get a 2-2 with the Proliferate here. Could be okay. So first I want to Dismissal. I could Dismissal the Fires of Invention, could Dismissal Rhythm, could Dismissal the Ferox, got a lot of options. Bouncing Rhythm doesn't do a whole lot, because then my opponent can still play something for free with Fires of Invention. So maybe I should just bounce the Ferox at that point. Then Contentious Plan. Make sure I click on the Magic Mirror. And then keep up on Summon, I guess. If they have a non Ferox hasty creature, I need to bounce. Like an Ilharg. Escape to the Wilds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Finds Thorn Mammoth. Shared Summons. Not a Rhythm. So they can cast a 6-drop for free with Fires of Invention. Next turn we could see the Thorn Mammoth. Currently 25 cards in Library. Plenty of Jaces in hand, so I could even ultimate the first one. There's a Ferox once again, so that's the last card they can play this turn. So I'll probably just end up chumping it. They're both going face this time. I guess I could take the hit and keep my Chum Blocker for next turn, but if it dies to the Thorn Mammoth, I don't get any value from it, so might as well Chump first. Although I suppose I could bounce the Thorn Mammoth next turn with Unsummon, but they could potentially play it twice. I don't know. I'll just Chump. Alright, another Mystic Sanctuary. Maybe that should get back Kalos' Missile once again. And uh, maybe I should just ultimate this Jace. Why not? Alright, a couple gargoyles are going to be useful. So, let's play gargoyle. So I'm not at risk of decking next turn, so I don't necessarily need to play Jace right now if I don't want to. Definitely want to get an Emery in play. And 
and then could bounce a Ferox once again, but I don't mind Ferox in play at this point, I don't think. So do I just dismiss all the fires of invention at this point? Maybe I do. Does limit what my opponent can play next turn. And uh, pass a turn with unsummon at the ready. Seems fine. 11 cards in library. Next turn I'll draw 4 from mirror, 1 from draw step. And I should find a way to just win the game by milling myself and then playing Jace. So I just gotta survive this one turn and I've got unsummon to help me. Plenty of chum blockers. They're gonna activate Ferox, which uh, then lets them replay fires. They can cast one more spell. Dracoseth with haste, thanks to Rhythm, but not hexproof. So let's send that right back. Ferox attacks, I guess I'll chump. Could even trade. Sure. And then I guess I can afford to opt end of turn. More Jaces. Alright, so how many cards do I have left? Five at the moment, so how about I just play another Emery? Can keep the original so I can still activate her if I want to. One card remaining, play backup Jace. Mill myself and win. Alright, sweet. So we beat Gruul, Fires of Invention, Rhythm of the Wild. That's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.